are green light racing. We're heading down towards turn number one here at the Nürburgring sprint variant. And Tim Yarshall has not got a good start here at all. He is side by side with Wisniewski. Wisniewski has just about got his nose up ahead. He's going to have to take the long way round. Yarshall, though, is going to run very deep. The two red light cars do have it coming together. New is that's Kevin Siggy has gone round the wrong way. Jeffrey Rico is going to continue on. He moves up into third position. But already we are seeing trials and tribulations for our current championship reigning champion. Yeah, there's some action in the background here. Yeah, lovely job in terms of getting hold of it. You've got uh, Lucas Muller, who is the, the lead car then of the group of four. It's three wide there. You've got a Porsche sandwich with two Ferrari bits of bread. I'll tell you what, that is some move around the outside. That's Florian Hassa. Florian Hassa has just absolutely sent it from the back of that group of four to the lead of that uh, group of four. That was a delicious bit of move. Opportunistic, of course, it was three wide. Yeah, just sent it around the outside and Lucas Muller got four nappy in flyer. Uh, as we see a potential move a bit further back then. That is uh, Alessandro Ottaviani and Gianmarco Fiducci. Uh, in the BMW, it is Fiducci. He now has the inside line for turn number two. Well, it is Italian warfare between them as you come through turn number two. A little bit of argy bargy, a little bit of my corner there. Now down towards number three, and is Ottaviani going to keep the overlap? He does in towards number four, and he goes, Thank you very much. I'll have a little bit of that. That was a lovely exchange between the two of them. The only uh, problem there is they've lost a bit of time for the group ahead. Back around that final corner, Tim Yarsha will go. And the superstardom absolutely continues because it is a race victory here at the Nürburgring. Well, it looks like it's also going to be the best lap of the race as well. But there are your official results coming in. Wisniewski does just about hang on. Yuri Toman takes third position. Then we've got Reetbelt. Isaac Price gets a top five. We've got all of our cars on the grid. There's five red lights on the top. Left-hand side of your screen. We're about to indeed go green light racing. And there we go. We are off and ready to rumble. It's a pretty good start, I think, there from Tim Yarshall. Moves across there, actually to try and defend from Kevin Siggy, but Kevin Siggy has managed to get the lead of this race then as we head down towards turn number one. We're seeing a bit of a dive actually from the inside of uh, that's Enzo Benito, isn't it? Enzo Benito looking to try and get up to third position. And he's being covered off there by Nikodem Wisniewski. The Porsche on the inside of turn number two. I think Enzo's gonna have to live to fight another day here unless he can try and get underneath down towards three and have that overlap down in towards turn number four. He's not quite close enough, has to back out of the position, but it is a lead car for Red Line this time round. Kevin Siggy by three tenths of a second, and for the first time, Tim Yarshall under a little bit of pressure this week. Yeah. Boris Lona outside the top 20 again, managing to get himself up into the top 10 within a lap. Yeah, crazy performance on the start of these races. Down towards the inside, Chen Chick again. There's a little bit of contact between the two of them as they swing towards turn four. Boris Lona on the outside as Chen Chick just cuts across the nose and keeps himself ahead. Battling behind between Toman and Price as well and uh, potentially uh, will factor in. In fact, Price is trying to go over up the long way around on Lona. Yeah, he has the inside line though for the next corner, but now he's under pressure from Yuri Toman. So Yuri Toman sweeps around the outside. Rebelt has decided to bring it into the pit by the looks of things. And Nikodem Wisniewski has also decided to come into the pit. So they are going to try something. Early pit stop, giving them, of course, the real fresher tyres. Um, more visitors on towards pit lane here, Luke. We have Brzezinski and Keith Lee in. And, yeah, same with Lona. and Moritz Lona. Yeah, Moritz Lona in as well. I've well. decided to pick just yet, although Ooh. speak of the devil, Yarshell is in. Chinchik yeah, stays out, so does Siggy. Yeah, it's Enzo Benito and Tim Yarshell that come in. Um, I think the, the biggest factor from all of this was the gap went up to two seconds between Siggy and Yarshell. But now we can turn that perimeter off, we can get up to full speed. By the time we come down towards turn number one, the gap may have just about come down here. By the time they get up towards turn number one in the braking zone, I think the gap might be a little bit smaller. It is! Right up the chuff pipe here of Kevin Siggy. Kevin will have to go defensive, thus being slow on the exit of the hairpin. They pull along side by side for the first time. Kevin will hang that car out as long as he possibly can to force Yarshaw a little bit wider to come through turn number two. The inside line held by Kevin again, just overextends slightly, forcing Yarshaw offline. There is a potential opportunity down towards turn number three. Oh, there's a nudge there from Tim Yarshaw. Kevin Siggy's still going to hold on to that inside line. Yarshaw effectively has to let him go there. I think that would penalized if it went to the stewards room they're still side by side Nikodem Wisniewski looking in the background there for an opportunity thinking if you guys keep doing this all lap there might be that one more chance for me into the final corner Kevin Siggy just about gets that car across the nose of the Porsche in behind and we have now only got ourselves four corners to go through the right hand and they come now it's the long run 
up towards that final chicane. The gap out to about three tenths of a second once again. And it's a manageable gap here for Kevin Siggy, I think, as we head up then towards the braking zone for that final chicane. Of course, it's the slower of the two variants of that chicane. Close up there from Tim Yarshall. Tim Yarshall looking to make it two from two today. Is there going to be a late lunch? Kevin does go across the fences very, very early. He's just going to lag on those brakes as we come across the line. There are some absolute facts in life. Taxes being paid. Death. Kevin Siggy winning a DTM Esports race. Congratulations to him. He will take a race victory, making that three different drivers picking up the checker flag this season. Tim Yarshall, very, very impressive week. Again, it's a P1 and a P2 for him. We'll find out how he gets on in round three in seven days time. Make sure that you come and tune in whether you're watching on YouTube, Twitch, or, or Facebook, or wherever it is, and find out how we get on next time round at the Loudness Ring.